Alright, <laughs> so I'm on the rear, coming to another problem. The back seats, they recline, they don't fold down, so trying to get them up. I couldn't find anything on how to get the bottom up, I guess because it's got this reclining mechanism that uh, somewhere bolts, I don't know. I couldn't find it, so I was able to get a screwdriver in there and so I can see, and I was able to move some of the... paneling inside and I can see light so I ran a wire which is this through and it's going to be my guide and what I'm going to do is Got this thing tied. I'm gonna run it in there pretty clean, get nice and snug. As you can see, I, I went around this wire because there's no more wiring with hanging clips. So I'm gonna tuck all this wire in to the back seat, and then I'm gonna fish it through. I'm getting uh, Sorry about that, but it generally takes two hands to do most of this work. So I got to turn my flash on again. All right. Hold on. Pulling very gently. Haha! <laughs> First time's a charm. Look at that. There's a the clip. Look at that. No wire seen. Put this trim back on. Watch this. Turn it back on. Can't even see it. All right, now let's do the test. Just to show you guys what's real as far as this goes. Radio not plugged up. Turn it on. Dead screen. Turn the car back off. I'm 
can tie this bundle of wire around this shit. Back on. Bingo! My information center is back for the radio. Give me a second. Sorry about that. Trying to do this white handed is hard. Hold on, give me a second. And this isn't it finally. I still got the antenna to hook up. Power button. Voila. Sound. I don't have the antenna hooked up. Uh, let's go to the main feature of this, which of course would be DVD function. It looks blurry. I mean, y'all know if y'all own an Avalon, that screen up top is clear. If you can see how hazy is down there, it's perfectly clear. It's just a, a camera. She got her own dope. Show her to the villa. Order her some more. Kick back and take a sip. Them jeans fit her right like they painted on her hip. I'm a boss nigga, so I need a boss bitch. That ass offset in that Gucci outfit. And my whole squad looking like we millionaires. And uh, by the way, just adding an aftermarket stereo drastically, drastically changed the sound. I mean, it didn't, the, the factory radio sounds good, don't get me wrong, but it didn't sound great. This sounds great. For factory stereo, no amplifiers except for the head unit. And this thing sounds clear. And I have the treble down. Not even all the way. The loud's off. There you go. Just a little bit of cleanup work. Find out where I'm going to put that uh, stereo. I'm good to go, man. I got my functions back. Got my heater back. My gas. Oh, yeah. 27.6 miles. That's real. Use premium. I mean, the car runs on regular, but you'll get so much more gas mileage if you just use premium. 27.6. That's real. Like, I had the radio hooked up when I drove over here to the car wash. And when I started, I had 26. So, it. You know, that's real. 20, almost 28 miles a gallon driving in the city. I don't live in the country. I live in the city. So, you know, as long as you're not heavy on the foot, you know, you'd be all right. 27.6, 20 cent more. I think it's worth it. But, uh, all right. There you go, man. Feel free if you if you have any problems, you know, if you have any issues, you know, with, with your install, hit me up. Uh, Double Den, I haven't done it. I couldn't tell you anything about it. I've seen them. I don't too much like them because once you lose this door, it looks ugly. Now, I've seen some kits where you can buy these kits made for the double den. Those are pretty clean. But uh, I had this 10-inch screen. It's got the detachable face. 
So I don't have to worry about anyone stealing my thing. The only downside to it is this bracket hangs down too low, so I don't get to close my door. But uh, if you had like a regular CD player, you know, this would be gone. It would be, it would sit in. You'd be able to close the door. Um, I don't know about flip outs. I don't think flip outs stick out that much. I mean, you could probably rig it up to where you could slide it out and then it come up and then, you know, you'd be able to push it in so you can close it. That's if you want this. But, uh, I think that sits in there pretty good. I'm not too concerned about it. Once I get the, the, uh, the anti-theft clip put on, it is sit where it's right there so that's perfect uh -oh. yeah, so it's kind of sitting on it now I have access to my top buttons gap isn't big I got I still got my side controls and I mean you know as far as my eye go I don't think it looks too bad my girlfriend she doesn't like it Girlfriend thinks it's a little bulky, but uh, she still loves her factory stereo and her mind is cool, so I mean, I don't know, I mean, to me that's, that's pretty cool, especially when you get video function while you're on the road. Uh, my Bluetooth, Why, you know, I got wireless communication, my, I gotta get the steering wheel control adapter, but uh, yeah man, there you go, feel free to hit me up. Leave me uh leave me a comment or something if you uh if you need some help. Uh just general questions, you know. I, I do it all I install subs, amps, uh auto. I didn't show any of y'all this. this I also do these. Put the wheel well lights on. Oh yeah, I'm sorry, I didn't even tell you about my car. 07 Avalon, 20 inch RS. Fender wheel lights tucked, not the ones inside the rim. They own the inside of the fender wheel, so they shine chrome at night. Uh, you don't see these. You don't see that often. That's flush, and I mean it's it's bright in here, but you can see that light hits that rim. That chrome shines at night. People tell me my rims glow when I'm riding. I might do the white underglow to match it, but uh, yeah. 07 Avalon XLS. And uh, yeah, if you have any questions, man, feel free. Hit me up. Let me know. I'll be glad to help you if I can. All right. Thank you.